Greetings YouTube fans. Uh, last semester I took a writing class so I want to read some of the papers that I wrote. Here's one I titled Should Intelligent Design Be Taught in Science Class? So let's begin. Curiosity about the origins of the world and origins of humankind are something inherent in all people. Whether it is one's own curiosity that is wanting to be satisfied or that of children beginning to question all aspects of life. Answers are sought from any source that can provide them. For the most part, adults are able to find the sources to answer these questions on their own. Children are a different story. Future generations of children will look to the young adults of today to provide those answers. And it's what young adults discover now that will shape the knowledge passed down tomorrow. A large group of Americans have been fighting to have intelligent design taught in science classes. This would change the knowledge that is passed down to school children. Currently, the theory of evolution by natural selection and Big Bang theory of cosmology are the two key scientific lessons taught in public schools. Together, evolution and the Big Bang are used to explain the origins of various species as well as the formation of the universe, respectively. Intelligent design argues that the universe was created by an intelligent designer and not by natural means. The viability of intelligent design as a lesson worthy of the science classroom will be argued in this paper. Examination of intelligent design's objectivity and logic will help to determine whether it should be taught as an opposing theory to the status quo or not. The definition of intelligent design is, intelligent design holds that certain features of the universe and of living things are best explained by an intelligent cause, not an undirected process such as natural selection. And that's from the Discovery Institute. What is explained is the complexity of the universe and of life shows that only a designer can account for the creation of such things. In his 1802 book called Natural Theology, William Paley used the analogy of finding a watch on the beach. He said one would not assume that the watch came to be there by mere chance, but it would have been created by a watchmaker. The most important question to ask is if intelligent design is scientific. Intelligent design basically is basically a modern form of creationism. Creationism is defined by the group Answers in Genesis as the logical conclusion of a clear reading and understanding of Genesis in its intended form, that is, as a historical narrative. Design proponents presume that God exists from the existence of design in the universe. The observation is that intelligent agents, mankind, create complex and specified information. The hypothesis is that if a natural object was designed, it would contain high levels of complex and specified information. Experiments are then done to find this information. Design researchers find such information in the form of irreducible complexity. Design proponents describe irreducible complexity as an argument that when a part of a biological organism is isolated, it ceases to function. Though intelligent design does put forth a few claims, its primary arguments are against evolution and Big Bang Theory. Intelligent design proponents take a hostile and defensive stance against established scientific theories. Evolution is as much a scientific theory as gravity. Design proponents often misuse the term theory altogether. A scientific theory is defined as a summary of a hypothesis or a group of hypotheses that have been supported with repeated testing. If enough evidence accumulates to support a hypothesis, it moves to the next step, known as a theory. In the scientific method, it becomes accepted as, val as a valid explanation of a phenomenon. To date, hundreds of thousands of pieces of evidence exist to support the theory of evolution. To scientifically challenge evolution, intelligent design would need to falsify only one piece of evidence for evolution. So far, it has not. On the other hand, almost every aspect of intelligent design can be falsified using accepted scientific principles. The scientific community does not recognize intelligent design as science. Design proponents that argue the point of irreducible complexity use assumptions unfounded on an 
objectively scientific mindset. The idea that an intelligent designer of the universe exists is based off of the observation that complex machinery is designed by mankind. The problem with this argument is that observations are being made from the point of view of the designer. Watches are already known to be designed by a watchmaker. Previous knowledge of natural objects being designed does not exist. In fact, the only objects in the universe that are known to have a designer are man-made objects. Humans are the only designers there is evidence for. Natural objects from solar systems to the cerebral cortex do not share design characteristics with man-made machinery. Human beings, the only designers known in the universe, are not capable of designing and creating objects such as solar systems or the cerebral cortex. Since the only example of designers known in the universe are incapable of designing natural objects, a logical conclusion can be made that these objects did not come about from the work of a designer. Scientific theories such as evolution go through a stringent process to become accepted into science textbooks. First, the scientific process takes years of evidence gathering and experimentation Secondly, the peer review process can be ongoing for decades. The third step is acceptance as a theory. This only occurs if no contradictory evidence is verified. Lastly, individual school boards initiate their own process of textbook selection using a committee of experts in each respective field. Intelligent design proponents continually attempt to bypass this process and ins insert their own textbooks directly into the science classroom. In 1987, the Supreme Court ruled that forms of creationism, such as intelligent design, violate the Constitution and cannot be taught in public school science classrooms. Supporters of intelligent design will argue that both sides of an argument should be presented to students. Supporters will claim that the controversy should be taught and opposing views on creation should have equal footing. The problem with that idea is that there is no controversy in science. The controversy only exists in the social and political climate. Intelligent design is deemed to be non-scientific and is not on equal footing with tested, verified, and established scientific theories such as evolution. Intelligent design has its roots in Judeo-Christian religions and may have a place within the religious community, but the science classroom should be kept separate from religious doctrine. Those wanting their children to learn about intelligent design have the option to have their children attend religious classes or religious schools. Intelligent design may have a place in philosophy or literature, but it surely does not belong in the great institution known as the science classroom. So that's my paper. I hope you like it. Uh, rate my video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what you would like to see more videos. Um, just give me a comment, like it, share my videos, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Whatever you are going to do, at least have a nice day. Do that. Thank you, guys.